The covers have come off the all new Range Rover Sport SV. This is the company's most performance orientated version and it has, trust me, a lot of performance. Under the bonnet is an evolution of that petrol V8 engine. It now has 635 horsepower, 750 newton meters of torque. And thanks to a new mild hybrid system, with dynamic launch, you actually get 800 newton meters to propel you off the line up to 60 in just 3.6 seconds. This is a big SUV that goes very, very fast. Now, because of that V8 engine means there's an awful lot of cooling needed. So around the front, the team have done an awful lot to design in all of the re requisite apertures to have enough cooling going into the brakes and into the engine. There's a lot of unique features on this too. You have this satin carbon fiber finish throughout here on the grille, lower down, you've got this gloss black kind of blade that runs all the way along the car. Even the Range Rover badging on the front is in that same carbon fiber effect. There's actually a carbon fiber bonnet, even though this is painted, the whole bonnet, like its predecessor, is also carbon fiber. And you look, there's a little bit of an extra crease here as well, just to sort of remind you, in case you needed reminding, that this is the SV model. You've got vents here on top, this, the vent design coming around to the side. And one of the big headlines with this is that they're now introducing a fully carbon fiber 23 inch wheel. This thing is an absolute monster. Thankfully, there's still a nice bit of sidewall on these specially designed Michelin all season tires for this car. And if you look in between those spokes, you'll see enormous eight piston, newly designed calipers done in conjunction with Brembo and you'll also now be able to have carbon ceramic brakes. The purity road bias emphasis of this car includes the design. So you've got all this, all this bodywork here is all painted. You've got the gloss black blade runs all the way along the side. And this is 10 millimeters lower than the regular Range Rover Sport. So already, even though it's got those bigger wheels, it's sitting a little bit closer to the ground and it can go even lower when you select the SV mode. All of the usual detailing is there. You've got this lovely glass that's kind of sits flush all the way along. That improves the aerodynamics, as do the door handles. Currently, they've popped out, but once you lock it, they sit in flush. And again, you've got this rear wheel that sits a little bit further out. They've increased the track width a little bit more. You've got this extra little piece here. It's purely just to stay out to cover the legality of it to make sure that's enclosed in part of the body or you can see what I mean just from the rear there the way you can see the tires sitting out but the black comes all the way around here you got four quad exhausts here they're also shrouded in that satin carbon as well so it looks really good but it also it's very functional this has to all work to manage all the heat that's coming out of this it's still very capable you can still fit a tow bar to this if you do need to tow still so just because you're getting the Range Rover Sport SV doesn't mean you have to give up any of the practical elements of it either. With SV being the pinnacle of the Range Rover lineup, you've also got this ceramic badge on the back so everyone can see exactly what you're driving. Inside the Range Rover Sport SV, there are some specific features. You'll notice it primarily on the steering wheel here. It's an all new steering wheel. Now it is the same diameter as the regular Range Rover Sport, but it's much more contoured. It has a much nicer shape and feel, especially when you hook your thumbs in here when you're driving at that kind of three and nine position. All the usual features are there. You've got these kind of haptic controls that will appear when the ignition is on, but you also have an SV button at the bottom of the steering wheel. When you press that, it automatically goes into the SV mode and gives you all of the performance and dynamic capabilities of this car when you want it. It's a simple one touch button to get you into the right mode. The other little details I really like, you've got the paddles on the back here and they're quite nice, but they're also illuminated on the top. So you can see exactly the plus and minus what you've got. They've got kind of carbon fiber finish and they all look and feel very, very cool. It's, well, it's a little bit trendy. It's a little bit what people want in a car like this. You can also even have the SV logo illuminate on the back of the seats when you 
unlock the car at night so everyone can see just how special your car is. The rest of the interior, well, it's all the usual sort of Range Rover sports stuff. You've got this nice big touchscreen, a fully digital cockpit in front of you. You've got a ceramic finish on the gear selector here and on these edition one models, which will be the first year is already sold out. Uh, you've got carbon fiber inlays here. You've also got a lot of nice materials. These seats, for example, are made from recycled fabric kinder to the environment but it's also just as durable it has a very nice look and feel to it especially on the right and the back so it has this kind of mesh fabric and it just looks far more interesting than a regular leather seat now if you like leather seats you can still get that don't worry but i think this is a much more modern look and feel inside the range rover sport one other thing about these seats they have a body and soul function now i know that sounds a bit naff but what it is is you have these extra transponders transmitters put into the seats here what it does is as you're listening to your music it amplifies the music it kind of gives you vibrations through the back of your seat it sounds gimmicky but i did try it earlier on and it actually works pretty well it's a bit different it's a new technology and it's something that you might want to try out if you're going to buy one of these there's quite a lot of tech involved with this car hugo you're responsible for brakes and suspension. You are the man that yes. could really give us a little bit more insight into what you've done with this. First of all, let's start with the brakes. This is a completely new system. So tell us what it's all yeah, about. Yeah, of course, as you just said, it's a brand new system, bespoke for this vehicle that we developed in collaboration with Brembo. So yeah, many things to talk about, but let's talk about the key features that you can see. So of course, carbon brakes, uh, first on a Range Rover biggest, largest disc available on the market, 440 millimeter on the front, 300 millimeter rear at the back. You still have a cast iron uh, solution available on the base car, but this is really the top of the spec. And just to try to stop the beast, uh, we have some eight piston calipers, again, developed with Brembo. That's the first on the market, uh, a unique solution developed to, uh, for us with what we call a cross piston layout. So this is a kind of plush shape. That yes, is a, exactly. I've never seen this on a, on a piston before. Yeah, so and that's what we try to do is not pushing innovation for the sake of innovation, but the problem with large braking system like that is that you have a large pad, uh, large pad uh, yes. and you want to maximize uh, the pressure repartition on the pad. And in this case, you don't have many options. You need to increase the number of pistons, but you cannot go too crazy because after it's affecting the stiffness of your caliper, the fluid consumption, and then the pedal feel. So with Brembo, we developed this eight piston layout that is really the best of both worlds. You got the pressure repartition on the pad that is optimized and manage then the heat uh, and reduce the fade. And on the other side, a really stiff caliper that is optimized in terms of weight for the best pedal feel possible. And you've got yeah, huge 440 mil rotors. Yes, absolutely yes. enormous. Even, and even with 23 inch wheels, it really does feel, fill that wheel up. And obviously this is, you know, the performance from these yeah. brakes are designed for people who, if you want to take to the track, if you want to have really explore exactly. all the performances. So yeah, when we size the braking system, the idea was to be able to stop the car in any condition. And even the most demanding clients, if they go on a track, we want them to be able to enjoy the dynamic capability of the car and do it for all day long. And the brakes should not fade in any way. So they have been tested extensively in Nardo, uh, in the south of Italy. Uh, they have been tested at the Nürburgring. They have been tested here in the UK just to make sure that yeah, customer can make the best out of it. And I think we can take the challenge. They should not fade, uh, definitely. Uh, they are quite amazing. But on top of that, you've also got a very new and innovative suspension setup. So can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, indeed. We call it 6D, or 6D Dynamics for the six degrees of freedom that it's controlling. So yeah, it's a really innovative system uh, that is removing any mechanical linkage between the wheels. So there is no anti-roll bar anymore. All each dampers are hydraulically interlinked in a cross layout. Uh, and that allows us just by the movement of the fluid within the damper and the pipes to control the roll and the pitch in this car. And I think you have experienced it a bit yeah, uh, yeah. earlier with Ross. It's just providing amazing capabilities. And 
keeping this duality also because the dampers are equipped with a third valve that we call the comfort valve that allows us to disconnect the wheels when you are driving on a straight line and avoid in because we don't have any mechanical linkage across the car just allows the car to keep pretty flat and stable you don't have any head toss each wheel can move independently so you have this both capability with the system to be really comfortable when you are cruising along and once you move into SV mode and you go on track and or on an enthusiastic drive and you want to enjoy the dynamic capability of the car it just provide an just amazing level of roll and pitch control. So there's no actual anti-roll bars in this car anymore? It's Not, all just done no. It's hydraulics. all purely done hydraulically. There is no anti-roll bar anymore. And with that damping, so basically you have a kind of best of both worlds. Yeah. When you're just cruising along on a motorway drive, it just settles into a sort of soft, more comfortable uh, yeah. setup. But then turn off onto your favorite road, yeah. it's ready to go. Exactly, yeah. And, and that's what is impressing with this system, you can do both. And that's why we choose it for this vehicle, because you want to keep the character of the Range Rover, that is a comfortable car. You can yeah, just cruise for miles, but we want it to elevate the sport capability of the car. And that's what the system allows us to do with reaching yeah, up to 1.1 G of lateral acceleration. It's phenomenal for, and you do this on all season tires yes, as well. Which yes, is yes, that has been developed specifically for this car by Michelin. And yeah, it's provided an insane amount of grip and help by the suspension and all the other tweaks that has been done to the chassis, just participate to elevate the car to another level. That's our first look around the new Range Rover Sport SV. If you wanna know more about this car, head over to our website, it's completecar.ie. You'll find it linked in the description below. And it's a great resource for finding your next new car. If you've enjoyed the video this far, please do give it a thumbs up, but tell us what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.